And there is new evidence that a nutritional supplement can actually help you beat short-term sleep deprivation. Our Dr. Tim Johnson will be here with some uh, details. It's good news for us. <laughs> anyway, we'll be back after your local news and weather. In this half hour, we're going to take up whether a nutritional supplement really can make your brain work better when you're suffering from sleep deprivation. We'll have the results of a new study and hear from our Dr. Tim Johnson. Up next, what if you could stay up all night? What if you were sleep deprived? Would there be a pill you could take and perform at full capacity? Coming up next. Everyone knows the feeling. We certainly do here on this broadcast, but there are some nights you just don't and can't get enough sleep, but you still have to function the next day. Well, recently a new study has been done on an enzyme which is called NADH. It's a naturally occurring substance, part of the vitamin B family. Researchers were trying to find out if NADH, sold under the name Endalert, Endalert could actually help people who are sleep deprived perform the kinds of tasks they need to. It's the first time a non-prescription uh, that is not a stimulant like caffeine has been so rigorously tested. So this morning we have the results of that study of Good Morning America exclusive. And joining us here to discuss the results and what they mean, Margaret Moline, Ph.D., the lead investigator of the study, and our own Dr. Timothy Johnson. Is, did I say that name correctly? Is it Endalert? Yes, oh, Enada Alert. Enada. Mm -hmm. I thought I'd done it wrong. Enada Alert. Alert. Okay. This is not a drug. It's a nutritional supplement. Okay. And the way the study was done, I understand, people were kept up all night mm -hmm. and then tested to see how they could function the next day. Just mm -hmm. how was it done? Well, we asked... Um, subjects who had been screened to make sure that they were medically healthy uh, and who were not previously sleep deprived to come into the laboratory. Uh, we gave them a baseline set of tests so that they would be able to practice the, the set of mental tasks that we were going to be testing later. And after this, that baseline experience, we had them come into the lab on two different occasions. Uh, and they would take the, either the Anata Alert or placebo in a randomized way. So we wouldn't know and they wouldn't know what the order was. And after having stayed up all night, they took the product, had breakfast, and then um, took the, the set of mental tasks that we asked them to do. Okay. So they were kept up all night. Mm -hmm. Some people were given this uh, Inada alert. Mm -hmm. Other people were not. They just had a placebo. Right. And then you tested to see how they could perform certain cognitive functions. Absolutely. And did the people with the stimulant do better? The nutritional supplement yeah. uh, did do better. Uh, they also came back on a second uh, uh, occasion so that it was a crossover. Everyone had the experience of the Anata alert or the placebo. So we could see how the individual did under baseline situation and then with the nutritional supplement or the placebo. All right, Tim, you tried this stuff before, right? To, to, we did a report. Jet lag. Yes, we did a report using the same substance in a real life circumstance known as jet lag. That is, we had a group of people fly across country all night long. They slept as best they could. Then we tested them the next morning with this product or a placebo using the same battery of tests. It's a standardized battery of tests. And I would stress, too, that they did better in terms of cognitive function, thinking functions, but it is not a stimulant. In other words, they didn't get bright-eyed and bushy-tailed. They didn't perk up. They didn't feel like their mood was elevated. Uh, the experts that we talked to at the time said if you wanted to take some caffeine along with it, that was perfectly fine and safe. This is to focus on improving your thinking for a short period of time after a limited period of sleep loss. So. It, it doesn't work for long-term sleep deprivation? We haven't tested that. It was just for the acute overnight sleep right. deprivation. And, as you point out, it doesn't make you feel better. It just means you can perform cognitive functions better. And I certainly wouldn't want people to get the impression that they can now start having long-term sleep deprivation and just take this pill and cover up all their deficits. Right. Uh, we've done another report where we looked at chronic sleep deprivation and looked at uh, what we're starting to learn about the potential dangers of that in terms of the body's immune system, the body's insulin system. Some of these people developed early diabetes. We're not encouraging people to do this night after night. I think what we're saying is if you happen to have to be up for at night for your job or whatever reason, you well, might want to and you want to do something really important the next morning, like host a television show or whatever. You might consider this just for short-term limited use. Right, and and there is still because you've you've pump this into my head, there is really still no substitute long-term for sleep. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yes, underline that, buddy. In a well, word. But, but if you've got 
a short-term sleep deprivation, you really do think this stuff, this stuff works. One of the circumstances, for example, uh, is a, a businessman has to fly overnight and go right to a meeting the next morning. It might help that person function better in that meeting. One of the good things about this product, as I understand it, is that it won't prevent you from sleeping when you finally go to sleep that night. And it's not a stimulant. It won't keep you up like caffeine might. So it has very short-term effects. How big was this study? How many people? We had 25 people who completed the study. Uh, and, and again, it was underwritten by the people who make this mm -hmm. uh, Anata Alert, but you're comfortable with the means into which That's the, the way a lot of studies are done today, and so right. you just have to look at the quality of the study, and it was very well done. All right. Thank All right. You. Interesting stuff. All right. You're entirely welcome. Thanks very much for being here, Tim Johnson, Margaret Moley. Appreciate your being here. Thanks Thank very, you much. very much. We'll be right back. Stay with us.